he wants two cases of fresh pack. Okay, I am going to start jarring and see how much I have. All right. Could you hand me that case of jars? This one? Or this one? Both of them. Okay, here's the first one. Okay. Can I get you to pop lids there? Line them up? Yep. I always hate over and under cutting my fish. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what to do with what's left over. That's why I make a jar count on the pressure cooker and then a jar count and load. Mm -hmm. This here is just meat and a little bit of salt. Two twists of the sea salt. But you just got to be real careful around the outside of the rim. I'm sure it's from the jar you understand that if it gets dirty it just doesn't seal in the yes, pressure cooker. I have but you got to clean these off after again. Looks like you're going to come out just about right there too. 24 jars. 24. So I need eight more jars to make two pressure cookers. I hate firing a pressure cooker that's only half full. Right. I worry about the jars rattling over. Yep. Plus, I mean, you're taking all that time to cook and you're only cooking. Yeah. It's kind of like us running the dry kiln. You know, we hate to run it half throttle because. Yeah, you're using up all that oil. Still costing and, you the yeah, same. And, that's right. Oh, yeah. Darn, yeah. yeah. Just go around once or yep, twice. Just once, twice, just bang, bang. And then, uh, yeah. Kind of like flossing your teeth here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're a good flosser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to call you Flossy. <laughs> Flossy, yeah. Flossy. There yeah, you go. Flossy, that's going to be your new nickname. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'll start putting my lids oh, on. Yeah. Sir. Pin boning some salmon now. These pin bones, they're the ones you choke on because they're real wow. small, but they're real firm and they don't cook soft either. In the pressure cooker now, yeah, you can leave them in the fish to go in the pressure cooker because they dissolve in the pressure cooker. I see. But if you're just going to uh, pan fry it and eat it, you get them, you choke. Wow. So you have to pull on each one of those. Yeah. They're, wow. They're, they're pretty. It's they're nice and straight and even. So if you Follow the rule, you can get it. Yeah. This one is ready, vacuum seal. Now this is my smoking pan. Okay. You can see it's still, it'll fire right back up. And you get the heat into it. Uh -huh. You get a flame okay. going, and then you once that flame going comes up, you push it over, snuffs it out, and you crack it open. Let's and depends air. on how far you crack it and how much smoke you get. Okay. And just let it go down, and then you throw more alder on it. Here's where the magic happens. All right. Okay. Well, we'll have to. Next time you hang some, know, we'll I'll have to get a we'll have to get a picture of it hanging. Yeah, <laughs> in there. And these are the smoke here. Okay. And that's wow. what they look like when they come out of the smokehouse. Wow. It's beautiful. Oh, it's got a nice glaze on it. Uh-huh. Wow. And that's in those jars, but in these jars, the ones I did last night, mm -hmm. this is the plain fish, but you see the how high that moisture yes. is? That's what you want, and that's all the good omega-3 oils. All. Yeah. And there's wow. nothing in this jar but um, the sea salt grinder. Two twists. Two twists of that, <laughs> and, and the omega-3 fats from the fish. Wow. And it's good and juice. It makes that. Wow. Yeah. And that now, will, it'll last for years. It's amazing. Wow. I rotate my stock every year, uh -huh. but I've had some a couple of years old. Yep. Pop it open and just like, you know, <laughs> like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a, a great learning experience for me. I need Wes to come look next time. <laughs> <laughs>